So moving on, we'll now be talking about how to set your prices. Um, I feel like this is the most questionable part when starting your business journey because most of us, including myself when I started, um, we don't know basically where to start and where to begin because I understand completely that feeling of not wanting to overcharge but at the same time knowing our values and not wanting to undercharge our services and what we have to offer. So we'll be basically just discussing and I'll be giving tips on how you could set your prices when starting your business. So the first tip is to do market research. Basically, um, do some research online and take notes on what other photographers in your area and in your field of um, photography that you chose are charging and what they offer with the prices that they are charging. So with that being said, I do not want you to copy completely what your competitors and the other photographers in your area are charging, but it just gives you a good idea and basically a baseline of what is acceptable in your area and basically in the market. And keep in mind that it's going to likely vary and it'll be different in each type of photography market as well as your region and basically where you are located. So another tip to remember when setting your prices is to really think about your experience. Basically, how much experience do you have and how much value can you offer to your potential clients? What makes you different from your competitors and from the other photographers in the market? So as beginners, it is easy to really underestimate yourself and your values and basically just compare yourself to other photographers who are successful in the photography um, industry and field. Um, but you have to remember that everyone starts somewhere. And the fact that you considered on taking your creativity to the next step and being able to profit from it really proves that you are on the right path and that if you stay focused and determined that your photography journey is just going to be really amazing and that you'll really benefit from all your efforts. So after you have done market research and research on uh, various photographers in the photography industry and type of photography you're interested in, um, you will maybe see that there are different ways various photographers tend to set their prices. So if you have done your market research and research on how photographers in your area set their prices and charge, um, you'll notice that maybe there are various ways the photographers tend to set their price. So if you've done your research and if you've researched what other photographers in your area are charging, you will see that maybe most of them are charging differently. But the most common way that photographers set their price is to charge per hour as well as offer certain packages and each package will um, have different services and different amount of shooting hours, but we'll get into this later. And another w way that some photographers may charge is per image, per edited image instead of per hour. So now let's talk about packages. By having packages as a photographer, you can really show your value and at the same time really cater and provide multiple offers to different types of clients as each packages can attract different types of clients. So it is going to be important to not overdo it and not create up to 10 packages because that is just going to be too much and kind of confusing and not attractive for your potential clients to see. Um, it is recommended to provide and create three packages for your client. So it's not too much, but it's not too little. It's just the perfect amount. When creating your photography packages, your first package would be your simple or basic package. This will be the cheapest and most affordable option from the three. 
with the minimum amount of products and images given to the client. For the second package, this one will be your ideal package. This is the package you will really want your clients to pick, your desired price. So this package will have more value, it will be competitively priced, and because I mentioned that it has more value, the client will have more benefits compared to the first one. They will receive more edit images and have more shooting time. Or however you want to set it. Just make sure that the client benefits more from this package compared to the first package. The last package would be your most extravagant and high-end one. So out of the other two, this one will be the most expensive, but it will be the most exclusive and have greater benefits. The clients will get what they paid for. A good tip is to have additional add-ons somewhere on the PDF file or wherever you are listing your packages. For example, it could be an additional hours of shooting or additional edited images that your clients can purchase, which is not in the given packages. So of course you constantly want your clients to choose the last package, which is your high-end one. But usually what this does is because the price is so much higher than the first and second one, it usually guides them towards the middle one, which is the most affordable. And if they choose that, obviously that's amazing and that will benefit you and your client. Now we'll be discussing a little more on what you should consider when you start thinking about numbers. So it's going to be helpful to list down and basically just track um, the cost of starting your business. For instance, you could start by listing the cost of your equipment from the body to the lens and to the various accessories you have. Also, the marketing cost from the price you pay for a website domain or even if you had put online ads out. Another tip to remember when figuring out how much you should charge is to consider and calculate the cost of your time and labor because your time and skills are important and valuable. So from considering your time and your effort and basically doing your market research, you will be able to come up with a fair price. And if it ends up being higher and more expensive than your um, competitors, you could start thinking of different ways on how to stand out. You could um, charge more, but maybe you could offer more, like offer more services or different types of edited images, basically just so the client feels like it's worth the price.